you've uh, been around for a few days. How how is the team preparing? How is the reception? How is everything so far? Well, thank you very much. Um, my name is uh, Charles Odoar Bukich. And I'm the head of the delegation and the vice president for South Sudan Football Association. Well, we really want to appreciate the, um, the Kenya people and the government, especially our lady um, uh, Sally Bolo. She has been with us since uh, our arrival from South Africa. Of course, we were there for almost two weeks or more than two weeks. Participated, we participated in Kosofa uh, Women uh, Tournament. And which I think was uh, a very good preparation for our team to come and play with the uh, Arambe Stalins. Well, South Sudan has been making very big strides in football because it's still a very young nation, but the things they've been able to do during that period uh, have caught the world's eye. The other time, they upset Uganda. How much of a pressure do you guys uh, have going into this game with Kenya, in Kenya? Well, uh, first I want to appreciate the Federation for accepting uh, us playing our home game also here in Kenya. Um, the, the bright starlets um, are ready this time uh, to face any team. Uh, they are prepared, especially as I said, the, the, the tournament, the matches that we played in Kosofa has prepared them to, to face around this target. So, uh, I, I think we will be uh, doing it, they will be doing a very good job. What is your long-term plan as a federation? Well, uh, as everybody knows that uh, this is our, our second year uh, for us to have women tournament. We, as a federation, we want to invest in women football. Uh, we have started, we have given a clear instruction to all the clubs, any club in South Sudan, first division, must also have a, a women team. We also want to encourage academies also to recruit women football because we want to begin uh, developing women football from the, uh, from the young age, including schools. We want to also, uh, as a federation, we'll have a a good understanding with the Ministry of Youth and Sports, Ministry of Education, so that we really uh, get they get involved in giving uh, girls from early age to, to begin playing football at the school, because that one is really missing in our, in our country. So we want to build the women football from the grassroots. Uh, which, if, if, if that happens, then um, the continent will be yours for the taking. We know for the men, other teams have really established themselves, South Africa, Nigeria, Egypt, Morocco. But for the women, really, it is not that developed because even this is the first year half are organizing Women Champions League for the first time. Maybe in 10 years, where do you see South Sudanese women football? Well, um, I, I don't say 10 years. Honestly, I don't say 10 years. But let me be honest to reduce it to five. But it may be it may be less than five. Are honestly. you that confident? I'm very confident. For these girls now, only three of them are more than uh, uh, more uh, over 20 years. But the rest are 20, 19, 17. Even the, the last goalkeeper is uh, 16 years. So uh, I'm sure when they continue uh, interacting, we will continue exposing them to international uh, friendlies and all the tournaments so that they get. Um, uh, experience but uh, honestly there is football in South Sudan there is talent in South Sudan we only need uh, time and organization to make sure we also catch up with the world okay thank you very much sir and uh, I wish you all the best against my country thank you very much thank you very <laughs> and much this welcome is our to Kenya. second country yeah welcome to Kenya anytime thank you, thank you very much okay yeah. are you going with the bus no there is another yeah. okay